it up, guys. So you're new to Arma 3 Epoch. You just downloaded it. And you need some tips. Well, the first tip I have to give you guys is when you have a broken leg, in the top right part of your screen, when you have a broken leg, it will show a fracture sign. To fix your broken leg, you will A, either need to find a first aid kit, which is a little yellow rectangle that you will find in uh, loot containers, sometimes in trash piles, mostly in military bases. But uh, you'll know it when you find it. I do not have it on me, but you'll know when you find it. Little fucking yellow rectangle. The second way you can fix your broken leg, which will not heal you, it will only heal your broken leg. Um, if you have a buddy with you, and you have a multi-gun, and a heal player tip, you drag the heal player tip here, you need a small energy pack or a large energy pack in the ammo spot, and you have your buddy shoot you with it. A little unorthodox, but it works. Um, the second tip I have for you guys is if you're first joining Armor 3 Epoch, try to find a group. It's a lot easier to make crypto, which is the currency. Um, ATMs do work. You have to press I when you're near one, or, and uh, payphones also act as ATMs. Uh, there's the withdrawal deposit, and you can also transfer money to somebody else's bank. Um, the shops in Armor 3 are run by traders. The orange dots on the map are active traders. The red dots that do not have a name next to them, such as these, are dead traders and will respawn after restart. Uh, the green tra these, I think they are um, newly spawned traders. And these red things with names next to them are events. They vary in different servers. But, uh, so you found yourself a trader. There's a trader at every spawn. Uh, you walk up to it, press I, hit shop. Okay, now here in the interface, the right side is your buy side. Anything that is in the shop has been sold to it by another player. No, nothing is restocked by the server. To sell and buy, you simply double click an item. It will tell you what it sells for up here. Everybody can do simple math, I hope. And to buy, you also double click. Currency is a crypto, sometimes you'll see it down here. A lot of times it will be in the debug menu right here. You can get to the debug menu by hitting the little squiggly thing next to the one key and above the tab key. Um, this will also tell you how much damage you have done to you. 1.0 damage is, means you're dead. If you're bleeding, it will stop over time. Um, wet has it never really mattered to me. Soil, immunity, toxicity never really mattered to me. Stamina, it works how long you're alive. I've been alive for 1.5 hours on this character and I have 150 stamina. Um, none of this really matters. It doesn't really affect you, but your frames. I know, my frames are pretty shitty. <laughs> um, your thirst and hunger. If your hunger falls below, or uh, falls to zero, it will not allow you to run anymore, along with your thirst. And simply to raise those, you must eat and drink. Whoa, really bad frames here at this spawn. Um, like I said, eat and drink, honey counts as food. Obviously, if I had a soda, it would count as drink. I do not. Um, yeah, so... One way to tell how you're fatigued, or if you have broken legs, there will, also, there will always be a little emblem in the top right of your screen if you have no drinks or no food, or you have broken legs. Broken legs fracture. Drink and food are uh, the water emblem, and food is a food emblem. But uh, if you have broken legs, or you're fatigued, or uh, you need food or water, you will walk like this. You, you, you'll only be able to jog at certain times, really never be able to sprint. So uh, how to tell if you're fatigued? If you're fatigued and your debug menu reaches 60, you will not be able to run anymore. You can either fix this by drinking something, or laying down until it hits zero and starts regenerating your stamina. However, you don't have to wait for it to regenerate your stamina. You just have to wait for your fatigue to hit zero, which doesn't take very long. Um, another big tip about Arma is if you are in a firefight, say you're using any gun whatsoever, uh, the sight you have will be separate zeroing. So on the bottom right, you see this sight is zeroed for 300 meters. You can change your sights by using the slash key on the number pad. Now, in this site, it's also zeroed for 300 meters, but for there's a, a lot of different sites that it, the zeroing changes depending on which gun you're using. 
like snipers will zero in at 100 if you're using regular uh, um, red dot sight. But obviously for this gun it does not. To change your zeroing, some guns will allow you to change what your zeroing is just by using the scope. Like mine has a manual zero, but some scopes will let you change it manually just using, say, the red dot in this scope. Uh, right click also lets you zoom in farther. Um, page up and page down will change your zeroing. You hold right click, it keeps your scope steady. Um, Q and E will help you lean in combat. Oh, my frames are really bad right now. Um, Armor 3 Epoch is basically, this is all bandits, so I wouldn't, I would not advise uh, trying to play friendly, and you can, but it is Armor 3 Epoch, don't be afraid to lose your items. There's always more, it's a vast world, about 22 kilometers by 22. So, you'll be losing items and gaining items, you'll die a lot. Every time you die, you lose 100 crypto from your bank, so your bank can go negative if you die, and will go negative. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a... You, you gain currency for getting kills, but don't quote me on that. It may be different for every server. Um, some good selling items that you can sell to the shop when you find are metals, such as silver uh, and various other metals. Um, the two that I would suggest collecting the most are whiskey noodles. Do not drink these. You, they are consumable, but do not drink them. They sell for 80 crypto a piece, and they're great for starting. And food coolers, wherever those are. They take up barely any inventory space and sell for 50 crypto a piece and spawn fairly frequently right here. Well, guys, that's it for my beginner tips for Armor 3 Epoch. If you'd like to see more stuff for Armor 3 Epoch, just let me know down in the comments. Um, subscribe for more Armor 3 Epoch videos because they will be coming. Thanks a lot, guys.